Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been married for three and a half years and have two young children to get. The couple made the bold decision to step down from the royal family in 2020 and have set up a new life in America, launching their non-profit Archwell, signing a Netflix deal and a tour of New York. But during a sit-down interview with Oprah, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex spoke of their struggles while working as senior royals prior to their exit. Meghan revealed at one point she didn't want to be alive anymore, while Harry opened up on his fear of history repeating itself in an apparent reference to his mother's death in 1997. In a docu-series a few months later, Harry explained further saying, my mother was chased to her death while she was in a relationship with someone that wasn't white and now look what's happened. But according to celebrity astrologer Eliza Kelly Meghan and Harry have a bond that is healing which allows them to go deeper with each other. Ms. Kelly has described Meghan, 40, as a Leo Sun, Cancer Rising and Libra Moon, according to astrology charts. While Harry, 37, is a Triple Earth Sign King with a Virgo Sun, Capricorn Rising and Taurus Moon. Ms. Kelly said, sure, their marriage is creatively fulfilling as well, but theirs is a relationship for healing, for soul work, for going deeper into self and truth and purpose. They were both waiting for someone to help them and see them and validate them, and that's what makes these two charts so important together. In mid-November, Meghan said she is always proud of her husband as the couple attended an event to honor veterans at New York's Intrepid Museum. Early in the evening a reporter asked Meghan if she was proud of Harry. The Duchess replied, I'm always proud. Harry also spoke about how his military experience of over a decade, shaped the person he is today. Ms. Kelly also told People TV's Celebrity Astrology Investigation, the introduction of Meghan into his life opened his eyes because Meghan comes from such a different background. He started to see the world from a different point of view, this exposed his chart to a different perspective. He didn't have the scope to access his full potential without Meghan. The Duke has also previously spoken about how he sees the world differently after becoming aware of unconscious bias. In a conversation with activist Patrick Hutchinson for British GQ, he said, unconscious bias, from my understanding, having the upbringing and the education that I had, I had no idea what it was. I had no idea it existed. And then, sad as it is to say, it took me many, many years to realize it, especially then living a day or a week in my wife's shoe. The couple are now looking forward to their first Christmas with their daughter Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor who was born in June. It will be Young Family's second Christmas in the US after the couple spent the Christmas of 2019 in Canada with their elder son Archie.